All right, in this video, we're going to discuss how to um, calculate or check the calculation that your bank did um, where they gave you an interest payment in like a, a, some sort of um, savings account. OK, and in this example, we have a mid month deposit. OK, so previously and I'll provide the link uh, um, in the description of this video for a playlist, lots more videos on this uh, topic. Um, but previously, we uh, did this calculation where uh, there was no mid-month deposit, and you know, life is a little easier then um, in terms of the calculation. But um, once you have mid-month deposits, uh, you need to be aware of that. Changing your balance basically um, partway through the month uh, will have an impact on your interest payment. Okay, so these are some formulas that we um, uh, discussed previously in this playlist. Uh, th the bank told us the APY or annual percent yield is 4.35%. Using that, we were able to calculate the simple interest rate, um, which is this 4.26%. And then the number of days that are that this bank is compounding, they're compounding uh, daily. So in a leap year, um, we have 366 days of the year. OK, now every bank is a little bit different. Um, most banks do compound daily and then they wait until the end of the month to give you the um, interest that basically you've been earning every day. All right. Um, so, you know, you have to you, you do this calculation for your bank statement and you can determine what N is. Other ends you might consider, despite it being a leap year, some banks will just con continue to use 365. So if your calculation is off when you use 366, try changing it to 365 and see if that works. Also, some banks, for some reason, I do not know, use 360. Again, that will affect your calculations. So you will want to look into that. Okay. So now, so let's just talk right now about the, you know, generally just the for the simple one deposit, how do we deal with it? And then in the next video, I'll, I'll do an even more complicated or general case where you're bringing money in and out throughout the month. And how do you do that in Excel? All right. Um, so to, do, to start with this, I'm going to start by calculating my daily amount that's in the account. So for every day, so I'm going to um, once you type a date in Excel, then you you can just kind of get your black cursor. You can just drag it down. All right, so Excel is kind of nice like that. It, it tries to figure out what you want. It recognizes patterns. I think I only want it to the 13th, right? Okay, so this is the date. And then um, I, I'm gonna go ahead and put my debit, and it also could have been a credit, right? So adding or subtracting from the account, how much? Um, on the 10th, it's 100,000. And, um, and so then I'll have over here my balance and my interest, okay? Um, on the first day, it's, I'm, I'm gonna assume that the, for this bank, they just go ahead and, and, and put the money in on the first day. So you start earning interest on the second day. All right, so um, on the second day, I will have, the, I'm gonna use this formula here. So I'll have the previous days, the principal, one plus, and then here's my interest, my simple interest rate, which I will lock that in. So I don't ever want that cell to change if I were to scroll this down. Um, and then divided by N, which again, I'll lock that cell reference using dollar signs. And then, um, oh, well, N times T is the number of um, com uh, compounding that's happened. And right now, Basically, since I'm going to calculate it every day, um, n times c is just one. So you don't need to bring it to the first power. You can just just like that and press enter. And we can see that the um, interest that I've earned is the difference between these two amounts, which is 11.63. Uh, OK. Um, if I were to have added something to the account on this day, instead of using this balance, what they would have used, I'll, I'll go ahead and change this formula here. Um, instead of using just that balance, they would have used that balance plus 
any debit or credit that happened on that day. Okay, so in this case, since there's nothing there, that won't change it. But it's important because later, when I do have a debit or credit, basically they're gonna calculate your new balance based off of yesterday's balance and then anything that happened, and then give you your interest. So that's kind of nice that banks do that. All right, so they could have waited to the next day, but they, they go ahead and do it on that day. All right, so let's see what happens here on the 10th. So let me scroll down to the 10th and let me add a thousand dollars here. Okay, so now if I take these two and I get my cursor to look like that little black X, scroll all the way down, that should do it for me. Ah, there's a mistake here. That's not interest. All right, so let me scroll back up. My interest would be the difference between these two unless I've added anything to the account. So I need to subtract off anything that might be there. Okay. So I'm not earning $1,000 of interest. No, I have to subtract off that $1,000. So there you go. So you see. Okay, so it's the today's balance minus yesterday's balance minus any anything that you added in to the account. All right, so there you go. Let's double check that this number matches. I have 101,000, um, 396 and 80 cents. Okay, and you do notice that it is off by one penny and that's not uncommon, right? Because banks do different rounding and a lot of times when I'm doing these calculations at home, it doesn't necessarily mean that I made a mistake or the bank made a mistake. We just round it differently and that's okay. Okay, so to be off by one penny is not, it's not that big of a deal. Now, if you're off by more than a few dollars, you know, it might be time to either reconsider if you're using the right N, or it might be time to maybe contact the bank and say, hey, I think you made a mistake, okay? Um, also, let's go ahead and double check. So this number is correct as well. Yes, that number is correct. And then, um, and then this last number here, should match this number here. Okay, and it's off by one penny. Okay?